This is Twit. Do you guys know what tardigrades are? Oh, they're so cute. They power the Starship Discovery. Excuse me. Do they really? They do. Well, so yeah. Do the so these are I, these are little uh, microscopic uh, multicellular organisms. They are cute. Look how cute they are. They look like cute. little I don't yes. know pigs. They got little claws on their feet. But they're also in, virtually indestructible. They have been sent into the vacuum of space for more than a week. Survived. They've been shot from guns. Survived in most cases. A few a few gave up. Uh, well, lately <laughs> we found a new way to torture tardigrades. This, this is nuts. I don't even know what this means. But uh, Rainier Dumke and his colleagues at the Nanyang Technological uh, University in Singapore have taken a hibernating target, a tardigrade, placed it on a superconducting qubit, <laughs> and they, it is now the first multicellular organism to be quantum entangled. So go, go, to, full, go to full screen real quick, all the panelists. Okay. All the panelists. Everybody. Yeah. Tim, I don't know you, but I love you. We are now friends, okay? First of all, you answered that question very quickly and precisely, and I was scared to say it because I thought I was going to sound like an idiot, but you knew exactly what company, it was because we, we were we were enthroned in it. Now, secondly, uh, the fact that that's a real thing and that we're trying to do things <laughs> to that thing makes me upset because sometimes I watch TV shows and I don't Google stuff. Sometimes I just enjoy the show. But the fact that that thing is real <laughs> and is like impervious to everything is crazy. And Tim knows what I'm talking about because Tim watches the show. Anybody who's watched Star Trek Discovery one. One of the great reboots of Star Trek. Oh, my goodness. Stop messing with that thing and leave it alone before the universe collapses into a black hole and we lose everything. Stop it right now. All the research in it. I'm, uh, PETA, get on it, PETA. PETA, protect the TARDIS. Yes, 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 yes. Tardigrades are microscopic eight-legged animals, sometimes referred to as water bears. Oh, they live See, in who moss. who wants to torture a water bear? Yeah, they I live in Owen moss. I think Owen just started a new hashtag and a new campaign, Protect the Tardigrades. Sometimes, we need to make it our campaign. Sometimes they're known as moss piglets. <laughs> 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 and we have, listen to what we've done. When, when, they're, when they're in extremes, they uh, shrink into something called a tun, T-U-N state. Their metabolism practically zero. They're still alive. And they can survive. They can survive without water for decades. They can tolerate high doses of gamma and X-ray radiation. They have been shown to survive temperature as low as 270 degrees below zero Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius above. They've also breezed through 10 days in the vacuum of space. Uh, on anything else, it would destroy your DNA, be terrible, but they have some weird damage suppressor protein that somehow Arbor shields... Arbor and cockroaches, that's all that's going to be left. Shields their yeah. DNA... Uh, it, it's a fascinating animal. I don't know, though, to be frank. I mean, I've heard the phrase quantum entanglement. <laughs> I I studied, I, you know, when I studied physics in high school and read about it, I read about quantum mechanics, but I don't really understand what it would be to be in a quantum entanglement. John, do you? Does it make any sense to you? I know you like science. I want to know what it is to put a tardigrade on a qubit. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> None of this makes sense. I think we're going to have to get Rainier Dumke and his colleagues at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore on the show and explain. But uh, tardigrades are fascinating. However, the first multicellular organism to survive a quantum entanglement just one more notch in the tardigrade, in the moss piglet belt, if it, if you will. Get on it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> a superconducting qubit, which is part of a uh, quantum computing device, I think. I, I don't, yeah. This is, this is sci-fi, as far as I can tell. Super sci-fi. Super sci-fi.